This is quite possibly the most attractive interior I've seen in any 2024 travel trailer yet. Stick with me, I'll show you through it and talk a little bit about construction as well as some features. So let's get right into it. This is the all new 2024 Heartland Mallard 283RK. And this is a beautiful rear kitchen, the first one that they've actually had with dual opposing slides. And what that means essentially is you have uh, slides that oppose each other in the same room. And what does that do for you? Well, in the main living space, it allows for this right here, a big, gorgeous kitchen island. Now, anytime you have a rear kitchen, you want it because you're gonna be doing a lot of cooking. And with that, you're going to want a lot of prep space as well as a lot of storage. And this floor plan hits all of it. And the thing I like about it is it does so in, it's just stunning, it is absolutely beautiful. I love the color combo. It's probably, I don't know how good it comes through on camera, but this is like a navy, like a really dark blue. And with the champagne bronze pulls and faucet, it's just an awesome color combo. Something we see a lot on the residential side, right? And they're finally, manufacturers are finally starting to get an eye for design. And this right here is absolute, uh, absolute proof. You'll also notice something else I really enjoy. Look at this. No longer do you have like the big, uh, you know, Lamborghins and everything else all the way around the window, the big clunky things. No, they did what all of us want. You just have nice, simple, but elegant curtains. It's functional and it looks great. So when we start talking about design again, this one just absolutely knocks it out of the park. Beautiful flooring in here too. You'll see the linoleum actually comes up into the slide as well. So it's one seamless look. There isn't any carpet in here. Uh, a killer job. Another thing, a small feature, but something else I like, take a look at the slide out fascia. You, this is completely smooth up here. And a lot of times I like this big chunk. It's just this big hideous looking thing. Not only that, but look how thick it is. They, they tried to make it kind of look like a beam that you might have in your house, like a farmhouse beam. Uh, and I think that's really cool that they kind of went after that design. And we started to talk a little bit about construction too, because it's not just about looks. Yes, you want it to look nice, but you also want it to function well. So if we take a look at the drawers, slow close drawers in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Underneath, enough space for two trash cans down there. So if you want one for recycling, you can have that as well. And as I mentioned, this is all just great prep space, serving space. You have all of this right over here. Electrical outlet there, as well as one underneath the cabinet. So a couple different places to plug in uh, any additional uh, electronics. Herringbone backsplash, love this. Beautiful look here. Uh, of course, a three burner recessed cooktop with an oven down below. We have the hood and microwave right up top. And then in the back is where your sink is going to be. And I like this too, because you have windows. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, we talked about the window over there. So that lets in a lot of natural light. You have windows here letting in a ton of natural light. Plus in the slide, I mean, there's just windows all over in this thing. So it is nice and bright, especially because if you look at the lights, you have three lights. Uh, right you have three rows going on basically all the way back here and you can tell that they knew this was a big deal look at this they put three right back here so many other manufacturers would only have one or two lights they know that people want it nice and bright and so they paid attention to that again more storage great storage all the way underneath the countertops by the way are going to be a seamless countertop it's a uh, thermal foil countertop so it's great because it allows you to undermount the sink, but it's lighter than like a true uh, stone or a solid surface. We take a look at the uh, refrigerator here. This one is 12 volt, so runs off batteries, plenty of space, 10.7 cubic foot there. Some additional storage, some pantry storage right over here to the side. Just kind of want to give you a look uh, right in there. So again, you have some just storage all the way throughout this kitchen. Now the kitchen itself is beautiful, but Take a look at the furniture as well, and I love, I don't know about you watching, I absolutely love the color of this sofa. I think this just goes so well with all the other color combos in here. Um, jackknife sofa there, which of course has storage underneath. The dinette, another thing I like, it, when at first glance, people see these tables, and, and I'm with you, right? I don't think it's the best looking table when we're talking about RVs. You know, this right here does make it look a little bit cheap, however, when we talk about function, this, in my opinion, is one of the absolute best setups. You have the double legs, plus it is attached to the wall, so it's solid. 
right? It's not going anywhere. So if you put some weight on here, it's not going the whole table's not going to flip. If you have the pedestal legs like in the center, and I'm telling you from experience, and if you're out there, you can test it yourself. You put some weight on one side, they're going to move. So although it's not the best looking table, in my opinion, it is one of the best functioning. Um, you know, they, there is storage underneath. You don't have doors here, and I did ask why, and they just liked, they preferred the look of having it, um, you know, basically a panel on the end. But what they did is they improved the experience of getting down here, rather than just having like your uh, particle board where it's gonna cut your finger, they have MDF board here, and this is nice and smooth so you can easily lift up and access anything you need to under there. And of course that table does drop down into additional sleeping, as does the jackknife sofa, but both of them are going to be a little bit smaller sleeping spaces, so I wouldn't expect to have too many adult guests uh, uh, stay the night. You'll also notice the coat rack right here. So if you need to hang jackets up or anything, you can do that. And of course, you're sitting on the sofa directly across the way is your TV, uh, your entertainment center. I did ask, this is built for a 40 inch TV. So, uh, you know, that in this space, in my opinion, that is plenty big. I don't think you need anything bigger than that. Some storage up top, and that is decent storage there as well as some underneath. HDMI right here, which runs to the multimedia center. So if you have a Bluetooth player or anything, you can actually feed it right into the front and it will feed through into the back. And then as we come through into the bathroom, Again, this is where most manufacturers start to kind of skimp, but you know, they still have beautiful design in here. I, I, again, I just think they did an awesome job all the way throughout. Super beautiful. Um, if I have to give it one negative thing, this is it right here. It's a plastic bowl. I personally would have liked to have seen porcelain, but as I always say with the plastic bowl, use it until it starts to look dirty. And at that point, you can swap it out for a porcelain one. That's not a deal breaker, but it is something that, you know, I would have preferred to have seen. As we take a step into the shower, I'm six foot tall, about 200 pounds. Folks, I have plenty of room here. I can be, you know, 6'3 with this skylight here and still have great space. And I can turn sideways. It is a wider shower basin. I don't know the exact measurements off the top of my head. Uh, but as you can see, I can shut the door. And I mean, if I'm up against this wall, right, I have a lot of space here. So uh, that's something else I look for when I kind of walk through RVs. Because sometimes, you know, you'll get in there and you'll have a shower curtain. And it's just like, it's like attacking me as I'm showering. Like I can't, I can't move. I can't get around in there. Uh, that's not at all the case with this one here. And then as we come into the bedroom, of course, queen bed right in the center. You will see on both sides, you have wardrobe as well as little shelves in the back. And you'll notice that you have um, your electrical outlet there as well as USB ports. And uh, if you have solar and inverter, I believe these are inverted yeah so those yeah so that's um you can see it has like a little sticker on there so that if you have the solar and inverter you can actually run those there and then right over to the side you have tv hookup plus big additional wardrobe space i certainly appreciate that because you can never have enough wardrobe space and if we talk about storage underneath i'll lift up the old queen bed here and you can see that there is a couple different access points so you can lift up here you have, well, I guess you don't have access here, but you can lift up to this one or you have the access underneath. So if you have shoes or slippers, you can just throw those right under. All right, let's take a look at some of the outside features, starting off right up front, power tongue jack there two 20 pound propane tanks with cover rails for the battery. And you'll see the 12 volt distribution box nicknamed the Volt. Uh, that just makes it a lot easier because all your wires basically come into here. Then you just have two cable, well, I grab a, a uh, gas line. You'll have two cables coming out uh, that you hook up to your battery. It just really simplifies the entire solar process. And there is a battery disconnect on there. Um, you'll also see the diamond plating on the front as well as the three quarter front cap. It looks great, helps protect that front end a little bit. Let's come around into some of the more important stuff, one of them being storage, and they have coined this the King Kong size storage. Couple things I wanna mention before uh, we go in there. One is the latch. Yeah, I, I love when they have an actual metal component slam latch because it works. It's heavy, I like it. You'll also see that it is magnetic catch. And if we take a look inside there, as it says, up to, I think they use this on all of them, but it's still very large. I don't know if this one is 67 and a half or not, but you can take a look for yourself. And I mean, you can see it is extremely large in here, just a ton of space. 
Um, you also have the solar charge controller built in, some lights up front there. And on the far side, it's a little bit tougher to see, but on the other side of that light is a uh, tire pressure monitoring system prep. So that's something that I personally do recommend getting because it's great peace of mind to have that tire pressure monitoring. Love when manufacturers have it prepped for it. Take a look at the outside. A couple quick things I wanna hit on. Uh, well, one, of course, we have the steps here. More ride step above steps are fantastic. Uh, that, in my opinion, this is just much better than the other step brands that are out there. Um, I know it is a little more expensive and for good reason. It's just a lot easier to adjust. Have uh, your aluminum treads on here, which aren't gonna rust. And of course it is very sturdy, foldable grab handle. So, you know, you just have that, a little bit extra control. But one of the big things I wanna hit on when we talk about construction is the fact that they use Asdell in Mallard. Uh, Asdell Composite is going to be light years ahead of Luon for a couple different reasons. One, it's lighter weight. Anytime we're talking travel trailers and towing period, uh, weight's gonna be a big deal. Two, it doesn't absorb moisture. So you will not see delamination on this product. It won't delaminate because it won't absorb moisture. Uh, and the other thing about it is it doesn't have the off gassing. It doesn't have like the formaldehyde and some of their chemicals that Luon has in it. So there are a lot of advantages to Asdell, which is one of the big selling points on this one for me. Uh, I just love having that Asdell construction. A couple other things to, to note, it does have tongue and groove plywood floors inside. If we take a look underneath, you will see that this one has a fully enclosed, insulated and heated underbelly. So that way it's gonna keep some critters out, keep all that road grime out, plus uh, help a little bit in some of the uh, colder camping situations. Coming back a little bit further, we can see the uh, electrical outlet outside here, plus you get a little outside kitchen. So you have the pull-out griddle with the refrigerator right up top and a light. So if you wanna do some outside cooking, you can. More importantly, at least in my opinion, I love the fridge. I wanna know your folks' opinion. What is, what is your opinion on this? Would you like having the outside griddle here. Or would you prefer to just pack your own? Like, do you have a Blackstone or something you would bring? And would you prefer a bigger refrigerator? Because I'm torn. I, I have, I don't need a, a griddle because I have one, but I've also been RVing for a while. So those watching, I wanna know what you think. I wanna know if, if you like this or if you would opt for a bigger refrigerator. Let me know in the comments because I'm kind of on the fence and I wanna tell the manufacturer to put in a bigger fridge, but that's just me. So let me know, let me know if you would get good use out of the, uh, the griddle or not. Then as we come around to the back, square tubular bumper with the uh, spare tire mounted on there so it is easy to access. Outside shower, of course we have hot and cold water access. Six gallon water heater on this one. When we talk about tanks, you have, uh, technically it's a 40 gallon fresh tank, but six gallon water heaters, so they call it 46 gallons of fresh water. You have two 40 gallon gray tanks for a total of 80 gallons of gray, and then you have a 40 gallon black tank as well. Taking a look right up top, you can see backup camera prep right in the center, plus the ladder prep, as you would expect, this is a fully walkable roof. So you just have to buy the uh, extendable ladder and you can climb right up on there. Uh, right over here, this one does have a 50 amp uh, supply, so you can, uh, or detachable power cord, but that will be the supply right there. And as we come around to this side, just a couple other things I wanna hit on. You'll see the city water inlet, fresh water inlet, plus black tank flush as you'd expect. And if we drop down, I just wanna show you, it's a little tough to see, but you will see that the valve bodies are up in that insulated underbelly. So again, when I talk about being a little bit better for cold weather, that again is one of those important aspects. So folks, if you're looking for honestly just a great couples RV, you want something that you know has a fantastic look, I don't think you can beat the way this interior is set up uh, from a functional standpoint as well as just how beautiful it is. You're getting a full residential queen size bed in there, excellent construction. I'm telling you, this one is phenomenal. If you're looking for price and availability, I will leave a link in the comments section. Feel free to click that. And folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Ian Baker, and I'll see you.